Southern California had a big part to do with just getting into bikes in general, I guess. I grew up going to the desert, you know, in the, in the winter and in the, in the summertime at the river, so we were always messing around on bikes. And uh, my dad bought me Krusty Demons, you know, when I was just a kid, probably like five years old. And uh, since day one, that's freestyle is what inspired me to ride dirt bikes, you know, and just having fun on my bike. And the racing was cool, but just never got into it, you know. Just had more fun out there with my buddies, so stuck at it. When I'm on my dirt bike, it's just so natural to me. You know, once I've got the helmet on and a few jumps out of the way, I usually get the adrenaline going pretty quick and, and just have fun with it. Lost in outer space, I'm waiting in this place to catch your fall from grace. It's not over. I'll pick you off the ground after you've fallen down. Get up and turn around. It's not over. Here's Fitzpatrick's house here. Just uh, out here with the boys. A lot of the same dudes, you know, Fitz out here. Without him, you know, I probably wouldn't be in the sport. I did my first backflip on this property here. Um, first one out of after we built this foam pit, you know, I was the first one to do it, so. It's just a cool feeling. It's really natural, you know, like you just give it a good lean off the lip and, and you could go out on big dirt jumps like out here and just be like, hey, I think I could flip that, you know, and uh, give it a yank and it's a pretty rad feeling, just a straight flip to be coasting upside down, you know, 120 feet or whatever. It's pretty insane, you know, that's the new norm. If you want to be a freestyle rider, you kind of have to be backflips, so. You know, started out just doing little whips and kicking a leg off the bike, no hands, and uh, now we're doing all that stuff upside down. <laughs> Leading up to these big events, you know, it's pretty much just ride every day. Like, that's the best training you can do. Eat healthy, drink a lot of water and uh, just get as much bike time as you can. There's a fine line, you gotta kinda push your limits and try to keep it safe at the same time. I just definitely like to give it a little twist, you know, a different style. If I see a few guys doing the same thing, it kinda turns me off of doing it, you know, like, kinda boring to be like, all right, well, I'm gonna work on something else, you know. It's pretty much my plan, you know, just uh, get out there and try to progress every trick I have and get full extension and just get it to where I think, you know, it's as good as I can do it. What's cool about Militia is we all kind of stay close in Temecula here and practice together and uh, just really push each other. Riding with my buddies like this and bringing back to the roots is kind of what really that gets me to progress, you know. Once I feel good on my bike, I don't know, I just want to prove it. And not for judges, really, just for other riders, you know. Like my boys, I just want to do bigger stuff than them. And I think that's what I've been doing since day one, just pushing each other and having fun. <laughs> I'd love to get you know, a little higher on the podium at some of these comps. We've had all thirds, so next games, D-Tour, and Oaksiders, so I'd like to get up, you know, maybe a second or first. Yeah.